Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to Animal Crossing. It's another day, it's another Animal Crossing. It is Monday the 13th of April. I'm actually recording the day after uh, the last part instead of like 50 days in the future. So with the flowers, uh, I have been given like this big like spreadsheet, oh, spreadsheet. It's a bunch of images that show you how you should plant the flowers. And I'm like, oh, it's so formulaic. I'm doing like five by five gardens and planting them in specific places. But it is cool, so I might look into that in a little bit, but before we do that, I need to change my clothes, because this is just atrocious what I'm wearing right now. We got this wand here, a fish wand, because I joined Dr. Gluon on his stream the other day and he had a fishing tournament, this is one of the prizes. Anyway, what the wands do is they allow us to like preset some outfits that we can just quickly change into, which is pretty cool. So we might have a look into some of those, I don't... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm wearing my fishing t-shirt right now too with no pants, that's great. Let's go inside. We also have a bunch of bunny day stuff still on, which we don't need. And quite frankly, I hate it. And I'm glad that bloody zipper is gone and we're not gonna be fishing anymore, damn it, eggs. Right, so let me just put a bunch of stuff in storage and sort out my inventory here a little bit. Oh yeah, I do also wanna go to some Nook Miles Islands today to see if we can find new villages because we have, I think at least one spare spot. And we haven't had any campers come by lately, so I figured we should travel around, see if we can find, number one, some cool islands. Number two, if we can find a cool villager, we can invite them. All right, so fashion items. I've got a lot of, pff, all these stupid egg outfits. I should get rid of those. I'm never gonna use them. I'm gonna move, I don't even know if I do need to move this stuff to my pockets, but I'm gonna put it in my pockets just so we can set up some outfits. You can now use your closet to edit wand outfits. Hooray, if you use the edit wand outfits option to create outfits, you can later switch into them using a wand. Perfect. Using a one outfit is considered uh, a transformation rather than actually changing your clothes. What you're wearing underneath the transformation will not change. All right, so let's register some outfits. Let's create an outfit. All right, let's do my cool dude outfit, which I believe was this one. And then did I just wear boots with it? What did I wear with it? Oh no, I think I wore these shoes. That's my cool guy outfit. Yeah, look at this. That's the cool, the cool. Oh, oh I didn't need to get all the clothes out. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so that's that one. That's pretty easy. Yeah, cool dude. All right, that's the cool dude. Now we need the nerdy professor. Although I don't really have good sh I guess those probably go with it. I don't really have a good hat for this though. Uh, an Acon knit cap. Hmm, <laughs> we also need some more nerdy glasses, I reckon. But I guess this can just be our tweed. All right, so we got our tweed, we got our cool dude. It looks like we're gonna have to buy some more stuff to complete more outfits because we're sort of running out of clothes. Like those shoes are in my other outfit now and I have to use different shoes in the Explorer outfit, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I didn't realize I could use things once. We're gonna need some more shoes. All right, I'll, I'll register it like this for now. Oh, right, it's, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> All right, so we got cool dude. We've got, oh, hang on, can I just wear them? Yeah, we got cool dude, we got tweed. We got Explorer and we got Egg Jesus, which I feel like we're never gonna use that outfit again. So for now, let's just swap uh, that. Swap clothes. Yeah. Oh, that actually that's not what I wanted. Change change image. Oh. Oh yeah, cool dude. <laughs> Egg Jesus. Oh yeah, we're gonna change this to, to that to the crown. Oh no, not the shoes. Yeah, that's better. That that represents these outfits. All right, we're done. So does that mean I don't have to have any of this stuff in my inventory? So I'm aware I'm currently just wearing underwear but let's just go outside so I can change my outfit with the wand. That's what, that's what we'll do. I also, we should go shopping for new clothes. I'm probably just, we need more pairs of shoes now. Um, all right, so I guess, oh, I don't have my, what can I replace with a wand? It's really windy today out here. Jeez, look at this place. I guess the watering can, we don't use super duper often. Like I use it when I'm watering my flowers, which I have done today. So we don't even need it today anymore. All right, yeah, now we can do this. There we go, yeah. All right, then uh, let's just swap to, I guess a gnat in case we need it. All right, cool, let's just run to the store real quick. Wait, what time is it? Uh, it's 11.49, which means in a few minutes we'll get new turn up prices and we can see if they're any good. So apparently I've got, uh, yeah, it's from this. We've broken 50 tools and we got a thousand miles, which is actually great. Cause like I said, we're gonna see if we can go to some Nook Miles Islands as well. All right, so let's go to the store and just sell some of the excess junk I have. All right, so sell all the fruit and stuff and the, the fossil that I had. That's pretty good. I'm actually doing pretty well with money right now, even considering yesterday we bought 8,000 turnips. Like, that's pretty good. We spent, what, like 700, maybe 800,000 on turnips? No, a little bit less, like 750,000-ish on turnips. Like, that's pretty good. I went through my whole island and harvested everything, like all the, all the pears, and I sold them uh, on Delhi's island. So I got rid of all those, offloaded those, got a bit of extra cash. Wait, where am I going? I actually wanted to go to uh, ATM. 
Um, yeah. Oh, oh, shoes. Hang on. Shoe, shoe dude, shoe dude. Kicks! Welcome, chum. Have a look. No rush at all. Do we get a shoe store if we buy enough stuff from this? Oh, he cannot be invited to set up a permanent shop. Okay, so we don't have to worry about spending amount of money on this. Apparently, he's also the only one that sells backpacks, so there's that. Um, can I recolor these, though? Because I like that backpack, but I want it to be a different color. Anyway, shoes-wise, pretty garbage selection, actually, man. Like, do you really, this is what you came to me with? Even the bags, I'm like, I mean, I like that, the extra large backpack that could be good in Explorer bag. But if I can't recolor it, then I don't know that I want it. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not convinced that I can recolor this stuff. Anyway, let's go in here. Man, it, it, there's like a storm brewing outside or something today. It's so windy. All right, so we also still have 355,000 in our savings. So let's go ahead and deposit, I guess, 100,000 again. Just so we're below the 100. Like, we can keep the 54 on us. We got 455 in there. I'm not too concerned about paying off the home loan yet just because we don't really need to. Like, we don't really need to expand our house. We don't even have that many items to fill it. Like, honestly, half my house is filled with turnips at the moment. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, we don't need to expand it. Hey, Tom. So, we do need to complete or continue the quest we're doing with Tom. Uh, I gotta say, what should I do? Because that's the next step. Because we did the... Whatever the first step was. I don't even remember now. Ah uh, yes, uh, the, the last major task of Project K. We've started gathering feedback from folks off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with uh, collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Luna Island to the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Cool. All right, let's go talk to Isabel then. Take your time. That's fine. Hey, what's up? Good morning. Oh, of course. Uh, Mr. Nook mentioned I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. It's just me, though. Oh. It's just me. Though I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, island evaluations. Now then, how can I help you? Well, island evaluation, you noob. Wonderful! Seems you're excited to hear about the image of it. I'm not, I'm not expecting much here. It's gonna be pretty low, I feel. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data for my reports. I'm really not gonna read all of it like that. That's annoying even me. Um, five star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That makes sense. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and well-decorated natural setting. Okay, yeah, cool. Look, like I said, I'm not surprised. I wasn't expecting much. We're one star. Folks are feeling like we still have room for improvement. Allow me to read next up. Okay, yeah, what, what, what do I need to do? Okay, so we need more popular. We need more people moving in. Okay, so right now we're just gonna get some more villagers to move in. No, no that's fine. Okay, cool. So the, the main focus is getting people to move in, which is what I thought we had to do anyway, and that's why I wanted to go over to some other islands and, and check those out. Um, I also have these on me for some reason, which I should get rid of. I also need to... Let me get another Nook Miles ticket. Let's get a few of them while we're here. God, it takes so long just to get multiple things from this machine. I like how both uh, Tom and Isabel are just standing there like, Yep, uh, we're just waiting for you to use the ATM. Um, it's like, you know, you can select more than one thing at a time, right? And they're like, no, just one by one. Uh, um, okay, here we go. Uh, yep, there's another ticket. Great. And one more. Oh my god, it takes so long. I'm done, I'm done. Let me out. I'm off. Let me go, let me go. Alright, see ya. Alright, let's have a look. So do those, they, those do stack. That's good. Alright, so I need to make a new net. I feel like I should just take enough resources to make all this stuff if it breaks. Let's also do some clothes shopping real quick. I feel like I need a, a second pair of Explorer's shoes because I, I kind of ran out. Hey there, I'm just gonna go in here. Alright, let's have a look. So we've got, ah, oh, acid wash jacket. Sweet! You get one of those. Ah, oh, matching pants. I mean, that now that just looks like pajamas. Let's not get those pants. Ah, oh, mummy mask. Okay, you don't really have any pants today, which is a slight issue. Yes, I don't really have any good boots for my Explorer's outfit. I'm really not liking this outfit I'm wearing right now. I mean, I like the jacket by itself, but with these pants, oh, that ain't working. Ew, the nose drip. <laughs> I'm not using the nose drip. Neon leggings? I can't see them. Cute sneakers, faux suede sneakers. Oh, the white ones would actually be, oh, the pleather white ones would be quite nice, actually. I want to get those. Okay, I need to get out of this dress because I can't see anything. <laughs> what about this outfit? Just a tank top and a pair of jeans. What about a nice preppy outfit? We could wear this blue one with those pants and then those shoes. 
<laughs> Alright, that, that's what we're doing apparently. Yes, I'll purchase that outfit. Uh, yeah, I wanna wear that thing, because this is my new default. The preppy smash. <laughs> Great. Um, what- a, oh yeah, see they've got a full outfit. I don't like the matching jeans and jacket, like that's just- that's just too much. I mean, I guess I could go for the customized stuff. Look through that, but I feel like that's a whole thing. So let's leave. Bye! Oh, it's raining now. How's my island one star? Look at all these eggs I've got everywhere. It's pretty sick. So I was just checking what uh, resources we need to take whenever we go away. Because you can just buy new tools if you're on a Nook Miles island. But I'd rather just take the resources because I've been- I hoard a bunch of them. They're all just in my inventory, so it's like I might as well just take some. So we just need uh, some branches, which I mean they're always easy to come by anyway, but I'll just take a bunch. Uh, I'll take a bunch of branches, we need some stone, I'll take 30 of that. Uh, actually, you know what, I probably shouldn't take 30 because we'll probably get some more on the island. So I'm gonna take the smaller stacks. And then we need some iron nuggets, so we'll take 19 of those. Because then it allows us to fill up the stack without taking up an additional slot, you know? And we need some hardwood, which that is kind of hard to come by, so I'll just get a bunch of that. Alright, oh, hey, I have a stone axe in here. Cool. I don't know why that's in there, but it is. Uh, I don't have it in my inventory, I should probably get that out. Alright, let me put away the larger stack of stone, though. So put that away. And put away the larger stack of branches. And then also, what do I need to make a net? Because we kind of ran out of that. Get that stone axe out. That shouldn't. I feel like that shouldn't be in there. All right, so that's back in my inventory. Let's go, because now we can go to Nook Miles Islands. Hopefully, we'll meet some new villagers, and we can. I think you can like invite them to come check out the island or whatever. Um, let's also get out of this outfit because I hate it. Uh, so let's change that with my beautiful fish one. We'll go into my explorer outfit because we're gonna go exploring. There we go. All right, cool. So we're gonna go. Well, actually, mm, hi. Let's talk to everyone. Well, hello there. Let's talk. Great conversation. Uh, who else have we got? So that was Pancetti, Pancetti. I still don't really know how I'm supposed to say a name. Where's Pappy? Well, this is Sheldon. Doesn't look like it's gonna stop raining, does it? Cardio? Why? Dude, you know, grammatically, just saying cardio at the end of the sentence doesn't make sense. I wonder if that means we'll get a new rival. Some more lands open up. Mm. Yeah, I did see that the more lands open up because I placed all the houses. I had to pay for them, dude. I also got to do some clean island cleanup. We got a lot of just trees everywhere now because I keep planting them. Ooh, you're gonna give me a recipe now. Sweet. Sup, Samaj? Need me for something? Nah, what you doing, man? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a street piano. Oh, street piano. <gasps> oh, I do want to know how to make that because we have we have a piano um bench. We already have a seat for it. Let's do this. Tell me, what do I need? Go study up. I will. Thanks, man. Oh, that's so nice of you. I like cat now. Better all my other sucky villagers. Alright, learning. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, that is street. Oh, wait, what? Oh, dude, cat. What about the painting set and the upright piano bit? I need those. Well, that's completely. I hate. Oh. I hate recipes that require other items that I've never seen or never come across. How am I supposed to ever make it? I probably have to wait like 10 years until I have the recipe for that. Hey, Pappy, are you in here? I wasn't expecting you. Oh, wow, okay. Let's talk. Your friend Charlotte is from Shah Isle. I've heard of that place. They make real tasty masuka. That's not what that word says. Musaka? And bubble tea smoothie is great. So Charlotte's my sister. I gave her my old Switch because I bought the, the Animal Crossing one. Oh, that green screen's horribly. That's so sad. Oh, well. This is, this is the Animal Crossing Switch. I gave her the old one and she's been playing Animal Crossing and it's fun. <laughs> oh, look at this. I want this. Oh, I was hoping it was going to give me- Oh, what about a stove? Can I have a stove? It's something I haven't been paying attention. This is for you. No, no, I want the stove. All right, I'm gonna give you something. Uh, oh, uh, ooh. Ooh, I don't actually really have anything to give you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't tease me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Fine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here you go. Enjoy. Some iron nuggets. Thanks. I wonder what kind of stuff I can make with this. I feel bad for getting this for free. Here's 487 belts. The thing is, they always give me gifts, but they never let me give them gifts. They always give me money for them, which I mean is nice and all. And the money's great, but also, I'm trying to give you something nice. Stop paying me for it. What up, Midge? You're more than welcome to wait out the rain here, Tweedledee. Great. Let's talk, though. So I need to say something. You should know how great your Explorer tea looks on you. Oh, thanks! You know what would go great with what you're wearing? A samurai helmet. Really? I mean... Oh! Oh, yeah! I mean, I'll try it. I don't know that it will go great with this, but... Oh. But yeah, let's see, look, how come all the NPCs, they all have all these sweet kitchens? I want a kitchen. I just want some normal furniture for my house. Can I have this? 
Oh, they have all this normal stuff. I have garbage. <laughs> like, I, I don't have anything. I guess I can't. I have to edit the outfit. <laughs> all right. All right, we're wearing this. I don't know how this would go great with my Explorer outfit, but I'm going to wear this with this outfit. <laughs> all right. Let's just make sure I've spoken to everyone today. Chrissy is out. All right. And I've already spoken to Sheldon and Kat, so we don't need to worry about that. All right, Chrissy, where's Chrissy at? Oh, bottle. Boomerang. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh, I already know it. I already spoke to you. I spoke to Kat. Where the heck is Chrissy? I gotta speak to Gaston and Chrissy. So this house is not sold. These two have gone, which is nice. So this is Gaston's. He's, uh, he's an interesting guy. Oh, look at his house, though. Why do they have such... They've got such cool furniture. Hey, thanks for coming by. What's the latest, man? You're a friend of Little Deli from Deli Ridge. Nice of him to come all the way here and visit. Reckon the two of you must be good buddies. Yeah, can I give you something? I want to give you a gift. Oh, I guess we're not good enough friends to give gifts yet, I guess. All right, see, dude. Just dropping in to say hi. Gotta find Chrissy. Oh, there you are. Hey, what's up? Hey, you doing sparkles? Uh, that's not my name. What's the latest? Uh, Rain on Lunar Isle tastes kind of like sarsaparilla. Don't you think? I mean, no, but anyway. Uh, what do you need? Uh, this is yours. I'll give you a gift. For me, I'll give you a bit of hardwood. If you know what I mean. And I just mean the wood, obviously. Oh, some hardwood. She doesn't seem that excited about it. Thanks. Give me stuff I can put to good use. Oh, okay. Maybe she does like it. Well, how come you didn't give me any money? Everyone else gives me money. Now I'm mad. I don't like Chrissy. It's nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. See ya. All right, let's finally go somewhere. Oh, oh, Bamboo Island. So I always get Bamboo Island. Bamboo Island suck. Is, it, is there at least a villager here that I can say hi to? Other, ooh. Nope, that's a no from me. All right, is there anything interesting here though? Cause it, Bamboo Island is so boring. It's like there's some rocks and it's like, ugh. Ugh, there's some flowers, like. It's such a boring island. <laughs> the only thing that we really came to see then on this island is this person. I mean, I guess I'll talk to you. I confess, I thought I might never run into anyone else here. I was stunned to feel like a castaway. <laughs> uh, there you go, what a relief. Anywho, I'm Monique. Anyway, see ya. I don't want you on my island. This island sucks, dude. Why did you bring me here? That was a waste of a Nook Miles ticket. Uh, I'm ready to go home. This place sucks. Alright, take two. Here we go. How many tickets did I end up getting? Not that many, but let's try going somewhere else. I want to fly, and I want to go somewhere more interesting. Thanks. Uh, yeah, Nook Miles ticket. And please take me somewhere good. And don't show me Monique again. Ooh, an Apple Island. That's actually good, because it means we can at least harvest all those and sell it for a bunch of money. This is like literally the first island I've been to that doesn't have just my native fruit. Oh, what's that? We got, we got someone. Hello? Oh, hello. I like you. You're kind of cool. Hey, what's up? Can, can, you, dude, face me. I want to stand in a place that I can actually like see you. Hey, I like you. Meringue. Well, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm meringue. Is that, that's how you say that word, right? Is that how you spell meringue? Merengue. All right. Apparently that's how Google says it. I was going to say, that didn't really look like how you spell meringue. Anyway, merengue, what's up? Uh, did you come here all the way from Luna Isle? I did. Um, do you want to move in? It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me new perspective. Move to my island. It's great. Thanks you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island, unless you're just, you were just teasing me. So your word is shortcake. Like, I get it, because you got like a strawberry for a nose and like, you look like a cake or something. I don't know. But why do you have to say shortcake? Like, we got someone that says cardio. <laughs> you're saying shortcake. Yeah, whatever. Move in. Yeah, cool. All right, so you'll be moving into an island. Anyway, I'm going to take all your apples. I hope you don't mind. Because these actually go, these are like, these are like gold. These are like red gold on my island. If you sell these, you get a bunch of money. Oh, actually, I should probably be using that. Although, I feel like, do you, I don't think I've ever seen wasps drop from a tree that you're shaking fruit off of. It's usually when there's nothing in the tree, that's when they drop. At least that's what I've seen. Can I pick up this? Can I steal your campfire? No. Excuse me. Dude, move. That made me regret inviting you to my island already. Also, I like that now because we're going into more autumn time. Whoops. More autumn time. Some of the trees are starting to like turn a little bit more brown. Like the green is starting to fade a little bit. Oh, lady beetle. Hang on. Here, yeah, beetle, 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 beetle. Oh, hey, got him. I feel like these sell pretty well. Little ladybug. All right, grab all my apples. Yeah, I'm just kind of going around just harvesting all the apples because kind of all I want from this island. I mean, I guess I could go through all the rocks as well, but I just really can't be bothered. <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of work to harvest the island, you know. I feel like in my old age, I'm pretty professional. Um, anyway, so we're gonna have a new person moving in. That's good. 
I guess what else do we need to do? Uh, we need more stuff to decorate the island with. I guess there's some stuff we could craft and put outside. There's even some things we could buy with like nook miles and just put down. Oh, there's another lady beetle up there. I guess maybe if we build more fences and stuff as well around the place, which I've been wanting to do anyway, and start like just decorating the island with more stuff, it might might be good. All right, so I gotta try and get up there without disturbing that. Yeah, buggy, 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 buggy. Yeah, buggy. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Maybe what I should start doing is start mowing down my island, getting rid of all the trees, and replanting trees that aren't pears, because then we just, we just be so much better. All right, anyways, I think I've got all the apples on the island, so I guess that's kind of it. I don't really want to get the stones, I can't be bothered. I mean, some of them could have money in it, but meh. I guess what I could do, hang on, let's have a look. Oh, I got loads of space. What if I eat some of these apples, and we just take some of these trees with us, and get rid of some of the trees on my island? All right, now we just yoink these trees. Thank you. And we'll take these. I guess what I'll, I might have to just wait for my, because I don't know which of my trees are pear trees, which of them are defunct money trees, um, all that kind of stuff. So I might just have to wait for all my trees to re, uh, like, regrow and like, um, and bear all their fruit again so I can see what they are. And then once that, whoops, once that's happened, then I can start just cutting down all the trees and just reorganizing everything. Cause I feel like we've, why am I feeling in a hole? It doesn't really matter. Then we can actually like organize stuff a bit better and just we'll obviously have some pear trees left cause it's still good to have all the fruit. But like, I feel like I want to change most of them. Oops, sorry. Now, as far as, so I've been manually doing part, like placing part, like paths on my island one by one. And I did always mention that there is a way to get actual pathways in this game. And I believe it's when you get to three star island rating, you get them, something like that. So then that will allow us to actually do paths. So um, that's something we also need to keep in mind that we will get that and we will be able to do it. So I don't know that I want to replace, I, I, well not replace, I don't know that I want to place any more of these pathways. Like I like them for now, but I don't think I want to go too crazy placing more. But what I might end up doing is, I guess we could end up ripping it up at some point. Uh, I'm not sure, but like all of these here, like most of these, I think this is a money tree, the little one that I just planted. Oh, no, 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 actually no, it's a new orange tree. So there's four orange trees here. I think this is a pear tree. This one I know is a pear tree. There goes the snail. That's, I don't know what this is. This might just be a money tree. I don't remember the last time that um, bloomed or sprouted or bared fruit. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, there's, you'll just notice that there's so many more trees now because we've been planting more and more. Every time there's a money tree, I've been, really we should cut down every money tree afterwards because otherwise it just leaves a big, it just leaves a tree that doesn't ever do anything again. But like this area here, like we've got so much space here, but it's just trees everywhere. So like, I'm wondering if we should just cut them all down. Anyway, let's go to Nook's Cranny. Let's check the turn up prices because it is past 12 o'clock now. And I have a bunch of apples I need to sell anyway. So let's go do that. All right, guys, what is the turn up prices? What are we looking at? 58, it's going down. That's wonderful. Anyway, I would like to sell uh, all the apples I just got because I just don't need them. And the ladybugs because we've already given them to Blather, so we don't need to worry about those. Anything else sneaking in here? Nope, just those things. And I'll keep all these, obviously. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I can put those in storage. You might have to plant them somewhere. 25,000 bells, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, I haven't checked the cabinet today. There is a nice little bidet on the floor as well. Rammed earth wall. Oh, red brick flooring. I actually quite like that. But the problem with that is like, I want that outside, not like in my house. Tiger print flooring. Yeah, no, nah. not great. Not great selection, guys. And I'm not really feeling all these items over here either. All right, let's leave. Get out of my way. All right, so island wise, I'm just having a look at the layout because yeah, I can't really place more bridges or inclines until we get terrain editing, which I'm going to guess is a, a function of probably the island rating, so we kind of need to get the island rating up and all that. Um, I guess on that note, then I would maybe we should just go cut down all the trees at the front here because they're either going to be, I don't think there's, well, there's some peach trees around here, but down this way, I'm pretty sure they're all just pear trees or there's like money trees. And I don't think there's any new money trees here because we've, we've done them all. So, you know what? I'm going to clear out this whole area. Uh, we might get what? Did wasps come out and rain? Eh, who cares? I'm gonna clear out this this area of trees. Let's do this. I'll pick up all the stuff in a minute. Just get them out. Get them out of the way. And then maybe we'll set up this area as a flower garden. And we'll see if we can do some of the uh, recommended flower patterns to... I guess I probably don't get rid of this tree. But again, I, I kind of just want to get rid of all these and then replant and then just reorganize everything anyway. So I feel like we kind of... Oh. So we kind of need to do this anyway. At some point, it's just remove all the trees and replant them. It only takes a few days to regrow anyway, so... 
it's all good. Hey, if I talk to Isabel now that I've got like someone moving in, does that like change anything? I know there are items, or the recipes and items in Nookstop that would make a big impact on island scenery. Saving up and redeeming your miles is a perfect way to add some decorative flair to this place. Fair enough. There you have it. Okay. Let's also talk to good old Tommy boy. Hey Thomas, get over here. <laughs> Alright, hey, I need to, um, uh, about my home. Right, let's, let, what should I do? Because at the moment I'm getting someone to move in. Oh yeah, we can also uh, customize my house independently of uh, the expansion. So what can I do? If you place your order now, I'll be done by tomorrow. So what are you interested in? Oh, are you interested? Yeah, what am I customizing? I'll show you the- oh, here we go, design catalog. Sweet, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see what I can do. So I can do the roof, and I can do the mailbox. Is that it? Can I undo- maybe- kind of cool, I guess. I guess maybe you're gonna unlock other stuff, because I feel like this is kind of lame at the moment. But I want to change, like, the, the- even the house- in, oh, actually, no, the house in this picture is the same house. All right, never mind. Because we've always had a green roof. I feel like I'm ready for a change, you know? Maybe a blue square? I don't like the roof anymore. It doesn't go with my blue. I need a yellow roof. I don't- but the wood on the house looks weird with the- the yellow. Maybe the blue roof and then a yellow mailbox. Sure. Oh, I can change- wait, curtains? It is. It's opening and closing the curtain on the other side of the house. Look at that! Wow! <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll do this. Hmm, interesting design choice. Okay, doesn't seem pleased with that. But anyway, tomorrow... Uh, cool. Anyway, cool, that's all I wanted to do here, and then I actually just needed to craft another axe. Oh, look at this library wall, that's sweet. Large cardboard boxes, tiny library. How come, I swear I've not seen, oh no, I have seen this stuff, I do remember getting some of these things. But some of these things, I'm like, when did I get these? Oh, look at these. These are nice. I think we need to make the silo for, the, if we make that for the island, it's pretty easy to make, we just need clay, which we have in our house. That would be a good decorative thing for the outside of the island, that would probably help us out a lot. Alright, and then over here we had some, uh, yeah, so all the things that we could get from the Nook Miles thing. There was a bunch of stuff in there that we did see already. So if we go down, obviously fences, but then like all this kind of outdoorsy stuff would probably help us a lot. And some of them are just recipes that we can learn and then make, and then some of these are ones that we can just buy now and place like right away. So I'm wondering, I only have 1700 points because I used them all in Nook Miles tickets, which I, I guess now kind of regret, because it means I can't get any of the bigger stuff. Um, I forgot details on this. Live by mail, okay. Lighthouse is pretty cool. The wind turbine, I do like that too, and the solar panels. Oh, that's cool. Well, I got 1700, so what can I get for 1700? A utility pole, a street lamp, a portable toilet, a lifeguard tower, a construction sign. Great. What about DIY stuff? A wave breaker? Destination signpost? I, mean, I can't get a lot. I might get this. Sure, it doesn't look great, but we're gonna get it. Alright, so let's- oh, hang on. Hey, what's up? Hey, did I hear out you're trying to drum up some hype for a Lunar Isle? I hope so, I want to be able to brag to everyone that I was here before it got big. Uh, sounds like a ton of work. Uh, you really do a lot for this place. Actually, I've got something that I think might help. What is it? Oh, furniture, what is it? It's not huge or anything, but would showing off a sweet tricycle work? What I'm saying, of course. Of course it'd be cool, okay. Ah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, man. Uh, anyway, what I was gonna do was learn this recipe. Which I'm hoping it's just like wood, because it's just a sign. I, it can't be anything that complicated, surely. Hardwood and softwood, yeah, it's pretty good. Cool. Alright, and then Nook Miles, we got some, uh, some miles. Oh, times five, sweet. Alright, where do you want me to put a tricycle? I mean, this whole place is a mess. It, it really needs needs a full redesign. So, I mean, I can put a I'll put a tricycle here, sure, why not? <laughs> There you go, here's a sweet tricycle. You know how nice it is axing down a tree and not seeing a single egg come out of it? Oh, it's so good. It's so good not seeing any of the dumb egg. I know a lot of the um, the Bunny Day stuff that I didn't actually record during that. Because a lot of it, I, like there was like a whole week I didn't record. Um, and I was just playing the game, but it was so frustrating. Like just trying to get resources that I needed. It was so annoying. Anyway, so we're cleaning up this whole area. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be so good. And then we can replant the apple trees. Maybe along the sides a little bit. But yeah, I wanna do a bunch of flowers here too. What's up guys? I heard some dings. You guys dinging? Can I ding? I don't actually have the greeting here anymore, but I'll do this. Uh, or, or not. Hello? Okay, they all just ignore me. Alright, so I know for a fact that these are all pear trees along this, this bit here. So I might actually cut down the main strip of trees. And then do pear trees. Oh, not pear trees. No, no. And then do apple trees here as well. Here, snail, 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 snail. Here, little buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining my nap. Really appreciate it. Not much to brag about, but it is, man. It's a snail. Alright, so let's cut down just this last one here, and then we'll start cleaning up the area. 
Uh, there's a lot more of this to do. Like, I, I'm just going to start it off now, and then I'll probably just do more between parts. Just because there's a lot of sort of tedious stuff. Kind of like how I did all the pathways, just between parts. Because just there's a lot of like little bits and bobs to do. Whoops, not that. Um, so we'll just get all this out of the way. We'll leave the little gaps so we can plant trees in them. All right, so we're going to start planting apple trees here instead. So I'll go one there, one there, one there, one in here. And then one also in this spot here. And then we've got two left to uh, plant somewhere else. And then beyond that, we kind of just need to wait for all our trees to grow again. And then we'll harvest the fruit and we'll start planting them. I mean, we could also go to other islands and try and get stuff that way. I'll get rid of these two here alongside the, uh, the main pathway. Because I know for a fact these are pear trees and we'll just replant them with apples. So the idea basically is then we don't have to worry about harvesting 50,000 pears and waiting to try and sell on someone else's island for more money. We can just grow all the other fruit here instead and then just sell these. Uh, the other thing I would probably want to do at some point is maybe set up like- Oh wait, why did I cover that up? Set up like a little um, uh, orchard somewhere so that we can just grow all the fruit in one place. I think that'd be- I think that'd be pretty good because then we can just- Like kind of like we did with the cherries but neater because the cherries are kind of just shoved up on a cliff. Anyway, so those are all my apple trees planted. All of this area over here, I'm just gonna clear, clear out. We're gonna turn it into like a little flower garden area. I guess like a park, kind of. We'll do like a combination park and flower garden. That'd be kind of cool. So I'm just gonna go around and clear, whoops. Go around and clear out all of the stumps. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna continue this between parts. So the plan, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna do a fence, probably like a brick fence. Down here, I guess it's gonna be more like a brick wall down here, so it blocks off the main area. So you, then you have to come up and around like this, it's a nice main pathway, and then there'll be like a fence along the top. Maybe potentially like a rope fence, let's have a look. Uh, so let's have a look at the DIY recipes, because we do have them in here somewhere, where are they all? They go in here. So we've also got this guy here, we've also got this one. I kind of wish it was like a white picket fence, I don't think you can change that. But yeah, we'll do like a brick wall, maybe going up the main pathway. Oh, maybe this one actually is quite nice, the sort of coral fence. Have that go along the top so it's like a different kind of fence just to enter. And it won't, so it won't be this whole space in front of the houses. But at least over here we'll have like a flower garden here. So we're going to set up some 5x5 five five, uh, flower growing areas where we can try and get the different types of flowers that you have to, I guess, cross breed the flowers to get. So that's what I'm going to try and set up. I'll see how I go. And I guess you'll see it next episode. We'll report back next episode with the progress because it's just one of those things that's just going to take ages to do. Like even just this, just covering the holes um, and then digging up all the trees, building all the fence. You know, like I'll, I'll get through it and then we'll see it next time. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.